Hello everyone, welcome to Bargain Gaming, where we can play excellent games without busting our wallets. This is episode 143 of Romance of the Three Kingdoms, number 14. Uh, in between episodes, I did a lot of administration st uh, stuff because we just took over Yong An in the last episode, so I had to send, uh, I had to gather people from all over the place and try to send them over. And so in in this uh, episode, what we're trying to do is try to reach Xiangping. That's one. That's one area of conflict. The other area of conflict is here in Huiji, Awu, Huiji. Yes. And then this is Jiannan. And then the uh, last one is over here in Guiyang. So I don't think we can do that in this episode. But I think uh, in the next turn. You know, the next turn would be mid. I think we will just uh, uh, fast travel through mid by just doing searches, and then late, late, uh, late September. Anyway, let's see what's going on here. So there should not. These are just two guys after bandits. So. <laughs> We were told that there's something in Ye, but we still haven't... Yeah. We're searching Ye, but we're not finding anything in Ye. So it seems there's a well-regarded item in Wu. Oh, he has the fish formation, and then I think in the next turn, no, we'll just have her come and I uh, start bombarding this one. Yeah, you just come and take and take uh, attack that one too. And then do we have a follow-on? Yeah, this is the follow-on. Yes. Okay, we will have him come over here. No, 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 no. Uh, let's come over here. Advance. So is Shang Yong now has the uh, food or something? Did the guy get there? Man, finally got there. Jeez. But we lost the uh, the troops we sent out. Yeah, we lost the troops we sent out. I can't blame anybody but myself. Okay. Um. So here, I think the next turn, we should be able to take this one out. Because Shimin has a... Um, uh, he is manning a catapult. And Big Boss is the melee fighter. Over here... Uh, oh, we did take out the bandit. It's The bandit's gone. This guy is slow. And we have her going back, and she should be bringing all the stuff back to, yeah, Yong'an. 
And can... I don't think we have in... The people have arrived yet uh, for your... Uh, for the supervision. I don't think we have. No, they have not arrived yet. Okay. Um, so, these cities are actually lucky in that they are so remote. And it's mountainous terrain, which is like... Uh, that's why China, although for as, as big a country as it is, only 10% of it is uh, arable land for such a big country. Unlike the U.S. U.S. has... You know, we have, I think, more than 50% is arable land. And here, they have like about only 10% of arable land, land, and it's all around the Yellow River Delta, this big area here. And so that's why uh, our conquest is so, it's not bogged down in this, like, these uh, four separate uh, little kingdoms, all because, only simply because it, they are so hard to get to. and. Uh, and of course they themselves have not developed their cities that well so we need to keep sending troops down there uh, logistically uh, and so it's hard to actually get there and because if the cities were big we'll get there we won't be afraid of uh, like overcrowding and stuff like that but uh, we can't because all the cities are small anyway so uh, okay, let's continue. Uh, reward. And then, uh, can we employ anybody? Did we find anybody? Guy He is now a prisoner. Yufan. Hechi. Uh, forget it. We, we we won't take them. Um, let's just do searches. Uh, we were told Wu, right? Uh, and Ye. See, this is uh, in the first early in the month. We did not do any searches in this in all the cities, only in Ye and uh, Chang'an and one and only in four cities actually. So, we should be able to find again a bunch of tombs. Let's do two in Ye. Pingyuan, Beihai. Jiangling,即刻出发。出发 And then Yong'an will be our gateway to uh, the Chengdu area, which is... And that's the reason also in 
real life history why Cao Cao has a hard time uh, take uh, breaking down Shu. They had an easier time going against Wu because although it's mountainous, there are a lot of you know it's still not as tortuous as uh, trying to get into Shu. And we haven't right now. We're just going in through the Wu uh, the Wu part. Uh, we haven't even tried the shoe part. The shoe is, yeah. Once that's why Yong An will be, I think, Huang Zong, uh, Han Zong, and uh, Yong An will be our what do you call it? Our jumping off point. Our uh, yeah, our yeah, our staging area to get into sh uh, to the to the southwestern part of uh, China and I think that's gonna be very draggy also it's just, it's just very gonna be it's like right now it's so slow because uh, these uh, cities are not developed and so we have to keep moving stuff from our developed cities up in the north uh, drag them all the way down here and then redeploy them so it's constant, and then in the cities up north, that means we still continue to maintain. Uh, we have to have good generals there so that they can continue to produce uh, gold, food, and soldiers so that we can ship them down south. It's like, yeah, it's a problem of logistics. Uh, the way the game, this game has been designed, uh, logistics is such a big issue. So uh, Maybe we should have uh, invested more in uh, what do you call this uh, under the, our doctrines, which is the transport uh, domestic support side, so that the transportation, transporting of materials, gold, and troops will be a lot faster. So that uh, we we haven't in, uh, invested much in that. In fact, we have invested primarily in. Uh, plots and um, machinations, but you know, it, we use that the least, especially when we go to our uh, committee of jokers. They, the only thing they can suggest most of the time, like more than 50% of the time, they keep suggesting banquets, banquets, banquets. It's just totally, totally idiotic. It's like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you just want to have a good time, right? Oh, man. Anyway. Uh, so that's why we are so slow. And like in the early part, uh, I was uh, I was able to record more, upload more stuff because we are doing things constantly, something new. Uh, conquering areas, developing areas. But as we get down here, it's like, no. It's like... Um, I don't want to show more development, more administration stuff, because uh, yeah, you guys have seen it already. So any extra orders, I think we'll dump it into Ye and Wu. Oh, we're done. Okay. Uh, so I think, okay, we will be coming down here. Okay, we're tight. We're, we're doing wooling. Uh, these guys will not be able to do uh, Guiyang first. Oh, these guys are slow. Lu Pu has already gone there. Okay, uh, and then this would be Huiji. And then here, are we there yet? Okay, let's look at Huiji. I think Huiji will be... Uh, we'll see more action in Huiji. Okay. What <laughs> Chop. 
Kings are rally tomb. Storm tomb, check tomb. Surprise attack. Restrain, disturb. Catapult. Rain of arrows. Charge. Iron wall. Rally. Valley. Inferno. War cry. Inspire. Rain of arrows. Jeer. Disturb. Inferno. Shout. Ooh, nice. Strength plus three. Storm. Expel. See, we still haven't found anything in yet. Oh, why are they not attacking? Oh. Jeez. What's. Oh. Ouch. We did not. Ow, 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 ow. That wasn't good. What? Oh no, our follow on got uh, shot by the arrows. Ouch. Ouch. Oh no, oh no, all those supplies just got destroyed. Okay. Wang Lang's army. Jeez! Yeah, as they came through, they encountered the arrows. Ouch, 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 ouch. Ouch, that really hurts. That guy was bringing like 10,000 troops, 20,000 gold, and oh no, I... That was a terrible mistake. How are we doing here? So I should have cleared out all those, uh, yeah, to free up the follow on, yeah. That wasn't, that was bad. That was, that was very badly done. Okay, that will just, that setback will cost us, uh, will slow down our next. See, I was thinking of just going on towards uh, Jennan after this. And I did not direct these guys. That was bad. That was bad. Ah. Uh, okay. Uh How should Liu Bu do in here? <laughs> that guy is look uh, trying to go for Liu Bu. He's gotta be crazy. Okay, anyway, uh, how are we doing here? Oh, 
I think, uh, yeah, we are 20, 20,000, and Bai Chi is how many? I think we will take Wuling, no question. But uh, it's a small city, we will be. Unless we ask Bai Chi to do something else. Yeah, let's ask Bai Chi to... Oh, that is... That is their last redoubt, right? Uh, yeah, I, I mean... Once we take uh, that one, Liu, ba Liu Biao... Oh, he has... He has that city and this city. Okay, okay. Uh, hmm. Yeah, we can have Bai Chi... Uh, hmm. Come and take that arrow tower. So that what will uh, so that uh, our big boss and Shimin comes in, uh, they have forty thousand in total plus including the wounded, less whatever uh, casualties they have suffered. So Bai Chi can go and take this arrow tower, uh, and then so he won't be going into the city, and he will not. We will not have a surplus of people there. Hopefully, the people have arrived. Yes. Thank goodness, they are here. barely anything in here. Wow, this is just just sad, right? Look at this. There's barely anything in there. It's really sad. Uh, anyway, so we have her coming in with 10,000 troops, 10,000 gold, and 62,000 food. Okay. Uh, we're sending her back. Oh, we just lost two transports. I'm s Let's see what's happening here. Uh, maybe we can send out... Send out people from here. To attack uh, Jiannan, because uh, we can just keep on going down here and take Jiannan, and that will remove both. Uh, so all of these things that they're doing, they will be 
uh, useless. Except it's gonna be a long road down to get to Jennan, and then from here we'll just keep on rolling. See, uh, like this, these cities are still small. It's just, it's just that you know all the amount of time that we have been fighting up north, uh, nothing's happening down here. It's like. And those walls, uh, to, to get to them from Guiyang, we have to go through this very, very narrow channel. So it's... Uh, this is... Uh, the layout is very interesting for the south. Uh, I think there is a scenario where it's similar to the Warlords. And we can also operate... Let's say we can start off on the south because there are different factions all over. And the only open factions with a nearby city that we can capture is here somewhere in the south which is which is Wuling is this Wuling Wuling yeah and then this is Ling Ling and then this is Guiyang yeah that's the only three cities that proximate each other but they're all small cities and uh, if we start out there it will be a lot harder than when we started at Su Chang, it will be uh, the format will be very similar to Su Chang, so, but the problem is that the cities are all very small. Unlike Su Chang, is huge, right? Well, we we got a um, uh, I think it has how many it has how many uh, sectors to it? It has eleven sectors, and then we got one next door which has how many sectors? Uh, seven sectors. Uh, these guys down here, they are like four or five sectors each. So if, even if we take all of them, uh, our development will be a lot, lot slower. Anyway, uh, that's for another, an, another, another play if you want to do that. Uh, anyway, thank you guys for joining me. I hope you'll join me in the next episode. Bye.